Hi, I'm Sungwon Do, and today I will introduce about our paper, a simulation model of intermittently controlled point and click behavior. We simulated the mouse point and click behavior that is applicable both when a target is stationary or moving. We combine five modules to create a point and click model, which was learned through deep reinforcement learning. As a result, we proposed a simulation model that creates a human-like mouse trajectory and clicks behavior. In this video, the left is a video of a real person, and the right is a simulation model. Black is the cursor, and red is target. First, I will explain the point-and-click model. The point-and-click model consists of five modules. Let's talk about the motor control module. The motor control module creates a cursor motor plan that can move the cursor to the target based on the prediction horizon time. The cursor motor plan is calculated as minimizing the mean squared acceleration of cursor movement. The second module is the click action module. The click action module determines whether or not to activate the click and its timing. The optimal timing of the click action is calculated by integrating two sensory cues given during the execution of the current motor plan. The third module is the visual perception. The visual perception module receives the velocity and position of the target and the cursor and the position of the hand from the environment. The outputs are the perceived values including perceptual noise. The fourth one is the mouse module. The mouse module simulates the process of converting the motor plan of the cursor into the motor plan of the hand, and how the cursor will move when the motor plan of the hand is executed. The last module is the upper limb module. The upper limb module simulates the rotation of the mouse by assuming the arm is a two-dimensional three-degree of freedom manipulator with three revolute joints, and also simulates the Gaussian additive motor noise proportional to the hand movement speed. The modules require parameters, but the predictive horizon time and click decision change as the simulation processes. So, optimization for these two values is necessary. For optimization, we conducted simulation-based learning with deep reinforcement learning. Among various deep reinforcement learning algorithms, we used DeepQ network. For the learning, the model is formulated as a Markov decision process. We set the state as the information of the cursor, target, and hand with the noises. For minimizing an acceleration of the hand and success to click, the network optimized the prediction horizon time and click decision. After 4 million episodes, the learning completed. Through the learning, we finally present the point-and-click simulation model. With the beginning of data, we can show our simulation model faithfully reproduce the human trial completion time and click failure rate. Also, for the distribution of trial completion time and click endpoint, the simulation successfully reproduced the human performance. This is the phase plot of the relative motion between the cursor and the target. The simulation faithfully reproduces the trajectory of human on average and the trajectory variability within a participant. In the subjective evaluation study using the video with the trajectory removed, the participant hardly distinguished between the two trajectories of the cursor and target. We presented a novel simulation model of intermittently controlled point-and-click behavior, but we are aware of the limitations that the applicability of the model has not been explored and that the different variations of MDP formulations. We hope these limitations will be discussed and supplemented through future studies. Thank you.